Well, no. Well, no. We all had a good laugh at the charity ball last night when Mr. Coughlin's wife, Marge, complained about having pins and needles in her feet. What does she expect? Every hour Mr. Coughlin is in London, she spends with her legs in the air. Yes, having sex with men. <laughs> well now, well now. I wonder if Mr. Brogue has considered the possibility that the reason none of his constituents are using the cycle lanes he had installed <laughs> at great cost is because they're all too busy riding the local bike. His wife, <laughs> Mrs. Brogue, yes, yes, bike in the sexual sense. Well now, well now, on a day when Mr. Coughlin is trying so hard to charm the trade unions, one wonders if he realises what his own wife, Marge, has in common with those trade unions. And what would that be? They've both spent years being shafted by Tories. <laughs> yes, shafted with the shaft of the male genitalia, indeed. Well now, well now. Shafted, is it? Isn't it ironic that while the MSP for Burniston North was doing his damnedest to shut the Burniston coal mines, his good wife had so many helmets in her own mine shaft? <laughs> yes! Jerry helmets I'm talking about, yes! With respect to our German friends in the EU. Well, no. Well, no. Likewise, on a day when Mr Coughlin has spent so long talking about the military, one wonders if he understands the difference between his wife, Marge, and the Taliban fighters in Afghanistan. What? His wife likes missiles in her cave. Well, now. Well, now. Well, now. It looks like Mr. Coughlin has run out of patter, much like his government has run out of ideas. Order! Order! I refer the honourable gentleman to the slaggings I handed out earlier. <laughs>